A little more than half of the veterans who got college money under the GI Bill since 2009 eventually graduated. That's according to a report released Monday by the Student Veterans of America. Northern Arizona University has distinguished itself as one institution where veterans find success. The Military Times named the W.A. Frankie College of Business one of the nation's best for vets. Kimberly Kraft has this report. The mountains, forests, and small-town life lured Justin Johnson to Northern Arizona University, but he says it didn't take long for him to understand why the College of Business earned a top spot in the Best for Vets list. Uh, when I came out, I, you know, I did, thought I transitions is easy, and it ain't no thing. I don't know what all these people are talking about, and then in hindsight, I'm finding that you know, it, it takes some work to, uh, to kind of relax and just be human, <laughs> human again. Johnson and other veterans find the counseling and support they need to transition into civilian life at the Veterans Center in the Frankie College of Business. Andrew Griffin is the director of the Office of Military and Veterans Affairs at NAU. They're adjusting to the academic rigor now for the first time in a long time. Um, they're sitting with students in classrooms that are eight, nine, ten years younger than they are. So in terms of um, coming together um, and, uh, and from a social aspect, there's going to be a lot more challenges. Air Force veteran and program coordinator Lori Jordan says the center offers a VETS program. That stands for Veteran Education Transition Success. That includes orientations and counseling. If you think in terms that 1% um, of the nation has served and is serving to protect the rights and the freedoms of the remaining 99% of the nation. So if we could help you know, even one student to have a successful transition from military life to student life and beyond, then we can feel good about what we're doing. Griffin credits the culture at NAU for veteran success and adds that the Vet Center celebrates its four-year anniversary this month. While veterans face the challenges of non-traditional students, they also bring advantages. They bring focus, diversity, and a level of maturity professors like. Johnson plans to seek an MBA after he completes his accounting degree. He's grateful for the opportunity to pursue his goal to work for a government agency. I'd like to let them know that you know I appreciate among the other veterans as well, I uh, appreciate the opportunity to, to use a GI Bill. Um, ultimately, that boils down to the citizens of the United States allowing us to use that, and so it's a great program. The Veterans Center will reach a new milestone late this summer when it moves into a new facility now under construction at the Fieldhouse. Kimberly Kraft, NAZ Today.